how do traditional vaccines work? And how about the mRNA vaccines like Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna? And why didn't we use traditional vaccines during the pandemic? Let's get into it. When we talk about the history of vaccines, we have to talk about a disease called smallpox, which has been around for more than 10,000 years and has killed millions of people around the world. <laughs> we thought we'd have to live with smallpox forever until the first version of a traditional vaccine. The way it works is they would take pus from someone that had been infected. They would dry it and then put it in the cut of somebody who hadn't been infected yet. Gross. Which leads us to how traditional vaccines work. You introduce your body to a weakened or an active form of the virus that has been weakened by chemicals or grown repeatedly in cells. This is how the measles, chicken pox, and mumps vaccines are made. Your immune system destroys the sample of the virus, but it does remember what it looks like in case it gets infected again. Mm. But this does have its drawbacks. The problem with traditional vaccines Traditional vaccines posed a risk because some viruses stayed active. So in order to make it safer, scientists began using the protein from the surface of the virus and injecting this instead. This works well, but requires what's called an adjuvant. An adjuvant is something that wakes up your immune system and tells it that there's a foreign virus here. Also, protein vaccines take a lot of time and resources to produce. We needed a way to produce these proteins more efficiently. Enter RNA. What is RNA? RNA communicates the information from DNA to make proteins inside all of our cells. RNA, like DNA, is present in all living things, and it stands for ribonucleic acid. How do mRNA vaccines work? Instead of introducing the body to a dead or weak form of the virus, we give the body a set of instructions called mRNA. mRNA enters our cells and produces the same type of immune response that a traditional vaccine would. That's why it's called messenger RNA because it communicates a message to our body. Think of it like a recipe, but instead of making food, our body is using the recipe to make proteins. Yeah. This creates an immune response to beat the virus. Viruses are made of a code and so is mRNA. So if you can produce the right mRNA, you can make a vaccine to fight the virus quickly. Why didn't we use traditional vaccines during this pandemic? Think about it. If you were in charge and you had the options of a traditional vaccine or an mRNA vaccine, which would you choose? If we were to use traditional vaccines, that means we would need samples of the virus all over the world. This would take maybe one, two years or even longer. And not to mention, it's a very expensive process. On the other hand, when the code of the coronaviruses was uploaded online, Moderna was able to produce a new mRNA vaccine in just two days. It's an exciting time in science because we can potentially use mRNA to fight all kinds of other viruses and diseases. Like for example, the flu vaccine or potentially cancer. There's a lot of ongoing research to treat those using RNA. If you're interested in learning about the history of RNA vaccines, you can watch this video here. And if you liked this video, like and subscribe. For now, see you next time.